Hi everyone, Tawny here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are going to be talking about the Boti PM bag. I was in the Louis Vuitton store a few weeks ago picking up my Sunrise Pastel Marshmallow and while I was you know, there, I went ahead and tried on a bunch of the new bags, the Boulogne, the Diane, and I also saw this one and I went ahead and tried it on and I really liked it. Um, it was one that I didn't really look at too much when I saw it on the website, but when I tried it on, it was very comfortable and very lightweight, so I thought it was going to be a great bag. So we're going to go over this one. Um, this is the PM size. It is available in a larger uh, GM size, I believe. So I'll put the measurements um, and a picture of that one up on the screen. It only comes in monogram canvas. And as you can see, it's got Vachetta chaps with the rolled handles. There's a Vachetta tab at the very front here. And underneath it is a little loop and it comes with a lock and keys. So you can go ahead and put the lock here as an ornament. But the funny thing is that the zipper does not, it's just one zipper, so you can't lock the zipper um, like you would do with like a Speedy, for instance, to close, to prevent the zipper from opening. So it's got a pleat detail on the front there. And this is the side with just a smaller tab of, on the Vachetta and the back looks just um, plain, no pleating in the back there. And on the bottom, no feet, just canvas. And when we open her up, one nice large zipper with the zipper pull, I still have the plastic on it. So inside is just one large open compartment. In the back there are two smaller slip pockets and on the front side is one larger slip pocket and it's in this really pretty like burgundy wine color. And the strap is of course removable so I don't have it on now and it is adjustable. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, adjustments available on the strap and they're about an inch apart and this strap is actually quite comfortable because it goes from slightly thinner to a little bit thicker towards the center so you can see let's see here see the change in thickness of the strap so towards the end where it's closer to the the buckle um, it's thinner and then in the center of the strap it's a little bit thicker here so it's actually quite comfortable of a strap The measurements of the bag are 10 inches at the base and then it tapers upward to be about 13 inches at the top. So 10 inches down at the bottom and 13 at the top. And in terms of height, at the center it's 9 inches but it also has a gentle slope so down on the side it's eight inches and the width it is five inches at the bottom but of course it tapers up towards the top there the drop of the handles are about four inches for the weight I have the strap inside of the bag but I don't have the lock on it and that weighs one pound, seven ounces. So this bag is quite similar to a couple different bags. Um, in monogram canvas as well, Louis Vuitton used to make one called the Tureen, and that was also available in a PM and an MM size. Um, it was similar because it kind of had a little bit of a taper shape. That particular bag had two pleats, one here and one here, whereas this one just has one in the center. Um, and inside was a darker, more purple colored interior versus more of a wine burgundy color. And also 
the one thing I think that's nice about this bag compared to the terrine is that this leather chap on the side is much smaller so it has less likelihood for it to curl up because sometimes you'll look at the terrines that have been around for several years and that longer vachetta tab is curled up which doesn't look very attractive so very similar in style to the terrine also um, I believe the style that's still currently available is the Rivoli. I don't have that one either, but the Rivoli has almost like a reverse shape where it's a little bit bigger on the bottom and it tapers this way. So the opening is smaller at the top. So this one's nice because the opening is quite wide so you can access your items very easily. Also the handles on the Rivoli are thicker compared to these smaller rolled handles on the um, Boti here. Another bag that I have that is somewhat similar to the Boti is the Sienna PM. So the Sienna has also been discontinued. Um, the Sienna is available only in Damier Ibn. The Boti is only available in Monogram. So this is kind of nice if you've been wanting the Sienna, but because it's discontinued you can't get it anymore but you also wanted maybe a similar style in monogram so you can see there's some similarities they've got the center pleat here they've got the louis vuitton tab there they've got the rolled handles and on the side similar but again the um the sienna has this longer tab but Demir Ibn, I haven't seen having as much curling issues, although it could still happen, but luckily, like I said, the boti is shorter, so that's less likely to happen. And on the back, the Sienna still has um, the pleat, whereas the boti does not have the pleat there. And on the inside, the Sienna, I have my organizer and my strap in here, but let me take that out so you can see what it looks like. So it's just red textile lining. So similarly, it's got two slip pockets in the front and then on the back, there's just one open pocket. So very similar. And we can take a look at the measurements here, but you can kind of see that in terms of width, they're very, very similar. If anything, this one looks like it might be a little bit roomier. Um, in terms of length, also pretty similar and height. The boti is just a little bit taller but let's take a look at the measurements of the sienna pm so on the bottom you're going from uh, about 10 inches at the bottom and about 11 and a half at the top and the height is eight inches and the width is about four and a half inches. Okay, the weight of the Sienna with the strap inside the bag is one pound, four ounces. So just a tiny bit lighter than the Boti. Let's see what fits inside the Boti. This is a standard size iPad, but I do have somewhat of a larger case in it, but it will fit inside the bag. And if your case wasn't as large as mine, it would zip easier, but, but it will zip close for the most part, but probably wouldn't carry an iPad in here. I have a standard size bottle of water and that will fit in the center, it's tall enough to fit the bottle of water and still zip close. So just gotta keep in the center. Got a, a full size wallet and that fits with room to spare on the sides. This is a large sunglass case. No problem, can stand that up. Mini pochette. an iPhone 12 case and this will fit standing up in the slip pockets in the back 
or you can also stand it up in the front or lay it down on its side in the bigger slip pocket. And let's see, for the smaller slip pockets, I can fit a key pouch there and I can fit a card holder in there easily. We've got a zippy coin purse, a travel size perfume, and some AirPods. And that's what all that looks like. So you still have room to put some more things in there, but this will be pretty, fairly full, but can comfortably close without, you know, overstuffing and distorting the shape of the bag. Okay, for comparison, let's go ahead and move what we can into the Sienna PM. And just to show you, as you probably can imagine, the iPad is a tighter fit here. And the water bottle is also a slightly tighter fit because if you put it standing up, you won't be able to zip it because it's just a little bit taller. Um, or I'm sorry, the, the Sienna is a little bit shorter in terms of height than the Boti. So we've got the large sunglass case, the long wallet, the mini pochette, the zippy coin purse, the travel size perfume, the AirPods case, The iPhone 12 case will fit, again, laying sideways on the large slip pocket and also standing up. If you were to try to put it on the smaller slip pockets, it will fit that way as well. But we'll go ahead and put the key pouch and the card holder in those pockets and those fit easily. And the phone can fit in that slip pocket there. So. Everything but the water bottle will fit in here comfortably without, again, distorting the shape of the bag or making it difficult to zip up. So the Sienna is just a little bit smaller than the Boti.
So with all my bags that have Vachetta, I spray it with Apple Guard to protect the Vachetta from developing water spots and uneven patina. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I did that and then we'll come back and talk about my final thoughts. I'm getting ready to protect the Vachetta with Apple Guard. I also have a clean microfiber cloth to wipe off any excess spray and I am set up outside with a clean towel to set the bag on. I'm holding the can about six inches away from the bag and just giving it a light even coating all over the Vachetta. I'm not too concerned about getting some spray on the canvas because I will wipe that off with the microfiber cloth. When I first sprayed one of my bags, I had a mini heart attack because the Vachetta does darken when you first spray it because it's wet. However, the spray does dry fairly quickly and even after just a few minutes, the Vachetta will lighten back to its normal state. I usually let the bags dry overnight and I'll show you later what it looks like after it's completely dry. Spraying Apple Guard on the Vachetta will create a protective layer on the Vachetta and it will prevent water or oils from darkening the leather as quickly or as unevenly as you would without it. So you will still continue to develop a patina on the Vachetta, but having the Apple Guard will allow it to develop more evenly. This is how the bag looks after I am done spraying it with the first coat and you can see that it's dried pretty quickly. The Vachetta is back to its light color. And I am going to spray the straps as well. I'm going to do one side first. I'll let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll flip it over and do the other side of the strap. This is how the bag looks after letting it dry for a full 24 hours. You can see the Apple Guard did not darken the Vachetta, so it's returned back to its light color. And now I'm going to go ahead and give it a second coating. So I'm gonna, again, spray it a nice even coating all over and I'll let it dry for another 24 hours before I use it. is what the bag looks like a full 24 hours after the second coat of Apple Guard has dried. You can see the Vachetta is back to its beautiful light new color, but now I can go ahead and use the bag without fear of getting water spots on it. So the Boti I think is a great little bag. It is versatile. You can carry it as a top handle. You can carry it in the crook of your arm. You, the strap, I think, is short enough to wear as a shoulder bag for my height, which is 5'5", five five. Um, and it's also long enough to wear comfortably as a crossbody. So you can wear it you know, four different ways, which is great. The bag is comfortable, and it's easy to wear, and it's lightweight, and it holds a lot. The zipper is very smooth and the opening is quite wide, so it's very easy to see all your items in there, to access all your items, and the, having three different little slip pockets there really helps. So that helps to organize the bag to some extent. But yeah, I really like this bag. I think this is great if you do need to carry more items around with you, um, but it's still lightweight and, and comfortable. So great little bag. Um, something that wasn't on my radar for sure until I actually went into the store and tried it out for myself um, Because yeah on the website, you know, there doesn't look like anything particularly special about it um, It's a pretty, you know standard classic style bag. So it's nothing too trendy or 
you know knew about it but i guess that's also nice too i think it's good it's a classic you know it's always going to be in style and you can um wear it casually it's not going to be you know a really dressy like evening bag purse but this is great for like an everyday bag that you can wear to work you can wear it to um you know run errands out with your kids out with your family because it'll hold you know everything you need so overall good everyday bag so that's it um thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you can please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye guys